Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to show you a demonstration of FreeMill that runs uh, a completely free CNC machining plugin that runs inside of Visual CAD CAM. So when you, uh, we have another video that shows you how to download uh, the demo version of Visual CAD CAM and uh, where you can run the FreeMill uh, plugin. So after you download the product, and you run uh, Visual CAD CAM, you'll come up with this dialog initially, which will ask you how you want to proceed. What you can do, you can obviously, you can run the CAM demo. This is our full uh, three through, uh, two through five axis machining demonstration. But in this demonstration, we're just going to run the free FreeMill plugin that runs inside of Visual CAD CAM. So we'll select Run FreeMill. So this is Visual CAD CAM with the FreeMail plugin loaded. Now, if you have another plugin uh, loaded, just go to the Visual Cam main menu and select FreeMail. And you can run this module directly from the demo version of Visual CAD CAM without having to purchase anything. So let's go ahead and we got this running. Let's load uh, a part. So in this uh, video, we're gonna load a step file, which is a, a three-axis solid uh, modeling uh, part. And let's go ahead and go get that file that we want to load here. Okay, so this is our part. And as you can see, it came in uh, rotated up on its side, which, you know, will happen uh, when you bring in neutral file formats from other CAD systems. So let's go ahead and rotate this over. And let's go ahead and turn on our graphic manipulator, select our part, and we'll rotate this over 90 degrees. Okay, so here's our part. We have a, a three-axis part. This is a uh, the core half of a mold uh, insert. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to uh, both rough and finish uh, this part using FreeMill. So over here we got the FreeMill wizard is loaded. When you run FreeMill, you'll see the wizard get loaded on the left. And the wizard contains different tabs that will step you through the process of generating toolpaths and G-code for this part. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the wizard for the roughing operation first, and then we'll come back and do the finishing on the same part. For the first tab, it's a set cutting direction tab. This is the direction that you want it to be oriented on the bed of your CNC machine. So by default, it's set to the Z axis of the world coordinate system, and that's what we want. We want this machine in this direction, so we'll leave that set to world Z. And then we'll go to the create part bound stock tab. And here you have different options for creating your stock box. At the top, you see the dimensions of your part. So you're gonna need a stock at least this size, and you can add offsets to this uh, part stock dimension. So we're gonna add some to the top. And you'll see that it added some up here. And if you want, we can go ahead and do a multi-view layout of this. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like both on the top and on the side as we generate this toolpath. So now we'll go to the set work zero tab in FreeMill. And this is the zero point that you want to home your machine out at on, at on your uh, stock box. So we're going to go ahead and set it. Uh, you can have different options up here. You can pick your point, you can set it to your stock box, or you can set it to the part box. So we want to zero the machine out on the top of our stock. So we'll set the set to stock box option. And you have uh, different options for the zero height of your machine zero. So we're going to, you can set lowest, mid, and highest. So we're going to set it to the highest Z face of the stock, and we're going to set it uh, to the southwest corner of our stock. So now we'll go to the cutting tool tab. Now, when you run an operation, you can set your cutting tool dimensions for the operation that you're going to generate. So we're going to generate a roughing operation first. So we'll go create a flat mill 
and we'll set this say to three quarter inch flat mill say a four inch flute length make sure we get down can reach all the way down to our base here we'll make it a five inch tool and then we'll go to the feeds and speeds tab we'll set this And you can, you know, obviously adjust these. If you're going to run run apart, you can make adjust this to whatever your feeds and speeds, your cut feed rates, your engage, and your retract, uh, however you want that to be. And we'll go to the next tab, which is our. This is where all the action takes place. Here you can create a roughing or a finishing operation because you can set a step distance, which is a step over, but you can also set a step down, which allows you to do a roughing operation. So we're doing a roughing tool path. So we're going to do a step over of, say, 375, and then we're going to do a step down of 0 0.5, say. And then we're going to cut along the X axis, which will go this way. And let's go ahead and generate that. So here is our uh, roughing toolpath uh, in levels, as you can see the levels over here. And that looks like to be a little bit much. So let's let's decrease this step down to 375, and let's decrease the step distance. To two five and then generate that. So you can go ahead and make your adjustments to any tab uh, in the Freemail Wizard before you go to the Post Process tab and Post. So we're still in the cut machining operation. So we're going to do a quarter inch step over, a three eighths of an inch step down, and here is our toolpath. And let's go ahead and do a simulation. Now, if you want. That went pretty quick, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. That's our, our roughing operation. And you can switch between the toolpath display and the cut model display. So now we'll go ahead and go to the post-processing tab, and we'll post this out to a uh, Haas post, and we'll select the post button. And we'll give it a file name is we'll call it VCC free mill href and we'll give it a dot nc extension and here is our G code file for uh, the horizontal roughing uh, operation even though it says parallel finishing um, if this is a horizontal roughing because we're cutting uh, in levels so now let's go back and do a finishing pass uh, on this part. So we'll go back up to the cutting tool tab and we'll change this to a ball mill. And we'll go to a 1 8 inch ball mill. So we're going to use uh, all the same dimensions except for the tool diameter and we're using a ball mill. So we'll go to the feeds and speeds tab. We'll use the same. And on the machining operation tab here instead of doing a step down we're going to put the step down to zero which is going to make one pass on the part surface and we will set the step distance to 0 0.02 and then we'll generate so here is a nice uh, three axis parallel finishing tool path uh, for this part and let's go ahead and do the simulation and it's going to calculate for a minute and you can switch between the display toolpath and display cut model to see uh, the progress of the simulation so it's simulation is complete and we'll go to display the cut model so here is our uh, simulation for the three axis parallel uh, finishing operation and we'll go to the post-processing tab, use the same Haas 
a post processor. And by the way, these there's over 300 uh, posts that comes with Freemail. And we have developed these posts uh, uh, over uh, the lifetime of our uh, Visual CAD CAM and Rhino CAM uh, product development over the past uh, 10 to 15 years. So we have a lot of experience in developing our post processors. So we'll set that to Haas and we'll pick post. And we'll set this to VCC free mill pfinish.nc. And here is our parallel finishing operation uh, for this cavity block. Uh, posted out for the Haas controller. Well, that's it for now. If you want to learn more about Visual CAD CAM and our milling plugins, you can visit us, visit us online at mechsoft.com. And we got a lot of other videos and tons of information there online to uh, help you get started. Thank you. Bye.